Hey, everybody. Hi. Welcome to Tomato Talk Live. It's February. Hey, Jen. Hi, Lauren. How are, <laughs> How you, are you, sweetheart? I am good. How are you? I like what you've got in your background there. I didn't notice that until now. You've got the Fox <laughs> Farm Ocean Forest. Oh, yeah. I got some online the other day. I'm getting prepared. Getting All ready. Right. Got the good <laughs> stuff. Got the gold. That is. It's like tomato crack. Yeah. Um, I hear it's got like bat poo in it. Right? Bat guano. Yeah. Worm I castings. My, I bought my own bat guano too. Like an extra bag of it just to. I have it on a <laughs> good source of nitrogen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, anyway, hey everybody, welcome to Tomato Hi. Talk Live. I'm Lauren, otherwise known as Mrs. Tomato Head. And I am Jen, otherwise known as Jen Joy on YouTube. <laughs> and we have our producer extraordinaire, Michael Kelly, behind yes. the scenes helping us out. So we're not quite as much of a hot mess tonight as we normally are, but hey, we love tomatoes. We like to talk tomatoes. Mm -hmm. It's and all we're good. Excited right? to be here with you all. <laughs> yeah. If it's your first time joining us, we um, we come to you live, obviously. We stream to my YouTube channel, which is Mr. and Mrs. Tomato Head. Jen has a very popular YouTube channel called Jen Joy, um, all about tomatoes and gardening and all that stuff. And then into our uh, Facebook group, which is Tomato Lovers Collective and Swap. Um, so we stream those three places. We like to come to you live just because we're kind of authentic, genuine type of people, wouldn't you say, Jen? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yep. Plus, we like talking to you guys live. Um, it, we, it just if feels so much more connected when you know yeah. that they're right there at the same time you are. <laughs> That's a good way to put it. It, I, I find it much more fulfilling if we can like talk with everybody and have it right. kind of like an in, like a conversation, you know, integrated with everybody. Let's see. There we go. Tomato Talk Live. Um, and we love talking with you all. So please feel free to comment. Let us know where you're from. Um, we've got all sorts of all of our friends from from uh, the tomato world. Hey, Lisa. Yeah, nice I see Cheryl. Cheryl. Cheryl's here. I think I saw I Jennifer Fox break. earlier. Um, so we try to get as many comments on the screen as possible. And today we we are talking, it's February, which means we're talking about narrowing down our grow lists oh, here in, yeah. in our hemisphere. Um, oh, hi, Deb. My trip was good. I, I just got back from the month of January. I was in Destin, Florida, spending time with my parents. They winter down there and it was really, really special being down there with them, spending that time. So thank you for asking. Um, here's Malachite Jen. All of our friends. I'm glad yeah, you could be here with us so on a Friday night. <laughs> um, Linda always talks. Tell she even in private messages she calls me Mrs. Tomato Head. It's very funny. Hi, Linda. Oh. Um, so thanks for being here with us. We we um, we started at an hour, but we realized an hour wasn't long enough. So we kind of go anywhere between an hour and ninety minutes, right, Jen? Yeah, we just keep, we'll, we just keep going. <laughs> yeah, and that's like based on popular demand too. You guys at, told us it wasn't long enough, so yeah, we kind of go with the flow. Um, sometimes we have guests, sometimes we do not. Next month we have an amazing guest coming on who's actually going to be turning up in my um, anticipated varieties uh, tonight. Bill Yoder, yes. who is an incredibly gifted breeder, he has um, just really released his his um prince collection of tomatoes and um that was like several months actually i think it was last summer he released those right mm -hmm. and yes, then so. um now he's just released a depeche mode depeche mode looks amazing. i know i'm like I every know. time he posts pictures i'm like oh like my eyes i know I want right when all. i think they're done he posts another one and i'm like bing mm -hmm. So anyway, he's, he's going to be our guest in March, um, which is, or not March. Yes, March. It's February. Yeah, March. March um, 1st. March 1st. Oh, so he'll yeah. be here with us at this time. Super excited. He's a very, very gifted breeder. Oh, yes. Um, yes. Yeah. And even from people who know about breeding, they even say he's a gifted breeder. So he's going to be here with us. And um we love we love coming to you guys and, and hearing from you. We're going to be talking, you know, narrowing down our 2024 
list. I'll be honest with you. I haven't. I, I, I have it started, but like, I know you just did a video on your Jen Joy channel, Jen, of yours, which is much further along than I am. Yeah, I've got quite, I've got quite a few picked out. I have like a pile of giants because I really want to get a three pounder. So there's a big old pile of ones that are you claim that they can get three pounds or more or two pounds. Just I like those big, crazy, like tomatoes, just, you know, the ones that take forever to ripen. And you're just like, do yeah. it, do it, do it. How big are you <laughs> going to get? So I'm growing like a ton of those. And then I've picked out a bunch from swaps. I've got a video I'm doing on all the Kazulas and all the Jarsons I'm going to grow because um, I grew some Kazulas last year, just a handful of them, and I fell in love. They are just gorgeous and so yeah. tasty. And I have not grown any Jarsons, but you're the Jarson queen, and I, you highly recommend. So I've got a bunch of those that I'm going to start. Long I keepers. Do. It'll be my first time growing any long keepers. And so I'm, I'm, there's yeah. just so much, so, so much. <laughs> I know it's so difficult. Um, mm -hmm. And then I like have to remind myself, how many spots do I really have? But that, that number's really written in pencil because I'll find a spot for anything, even if it's in a 10 gallon grow bag. Dwarf, dwarfs, I have no problem putting in a five gallon grow bag. I did that. Do you do that ever? Yeah, you, you do grow bags. I don't know if you do tomatoes. Yeah, I do grow bags. I did a bunch of, I think I did like five or six micros in a, was it 10 or 15 gallon last year? I could have done more, I think, in that. Yeah. Um, I, I did try to do dwarfs, but I think I had an issue with it. Like once you have them where you want them on the ground, I don't recommend moving them after. <laughs> yeah. Because I could actually hear the roots being ripped up. And after I did that, they kind of suffered a little. Yeah. Plus, plus I didn't help revive them by not watering them. So yeah. a lot of my dwarfs that I put in grow Simple bags, thing. they were kind of mm, not so great. So I'm going to try yeah. again this year. Change things up a bit. <laughs> so maybe maybe asked, water them. <laughs> say that again. Maybe water them this time. Well, I, you and I kind of subscribe to the same philosophy. We don't water a lot. Um, in ground, the, I think that works great, but maybe yeah. not so much for grow bags. Grow bags, you do need to water on occasion. <laughs> um, and and you and I, and I, I hadn't met too many people that were like me and and Rob, Mr. Mr. Tomato Head, um, before I met you and that we kind of let the plants talk to us. Mm-hmm. You know, we it's yeah. not a set watering schedule or fertilizing schedule for us too. It, it's if they look droop. No, in the beginning is different. We water in the beginning, but yeah. if they look droopy, I water. You know, um, but usually in the beginning there's enough rain because it's spring. You know? Right, you true. get more rain. But yeah, I find that <clears throat> I don't know watering causes more cracking. I think because you just I yeah. don't know. So, and and disease, you know, a lot of diseases are due to overwatering too. So. Plus, I think when you hand water, it's just not as good as the rain. It's rain not. Water has got so much stuff in it that those nasty hoses <laughs> just don't. Yeah, that's true. So. That's a good point. So, um, our our third musketeer who helps run our our Facebook group, um, Tomato Lovers Collective and Swap Kina from Norway, probably not watching live because it's one o'clock in the morning her time. Yeah. But she put, <laughs> we have like a, a private messenger chat between the three of us. We love tomatoes. There's really no other way to describe it. We're, we're good, good friends and we love tomatoes. But she was asking, actually now I'm doubting, I think it was in our chat today. She was asking when I was going to start my tomatoes. That was in that chat, right? I think she asked us both. I know okay. you were kind of busy this I afternoon. I know I was behind <laughs> with the messages um, and try to catch up. I might have missed that one. I know last year I started March 6th. It's funny. I can't remember what I did last week, but I can remember the days I start my tomatoes. Start tomatoes. Last year was March 6th. It was just too early. We plant mm -hmm. and ground. Last year we did a little too early, but mainly like Mother's Day, end of May. It was too early. They got big and they were like trees, but I am, am sticking to my vow to myself. I will not start tomatoes. Well, I'm going to go back on that a little bit. I may start some dwarfs and some garage <laughs> tomatoes. I knew it. <laughs> yeah, garage. Um, They're going to be our garage, garage tomatoes. That's what we're going to call them. It's just to yeah. experiment, right? 
Exactly. I need to do it for the sake of the viewers, for the sake of my YouTube channel. Yes. Um, but I decided this year, Michael's laughing backstage because he knows all too well that I don't mean what I say. Um, <laughs> neither of us do. But I'm like, I'm not, I'll wait another week. And then you and I also agreed on this too. I'm going to stagger my starts. Yes. Yes, There's I'm doing that. Mm -hmm. No reason why I need to start all the tomatoes on the same day or even the same weekend. I'm going to do- like I up pot mine and then you got to up pot them pretty right. close to the same time. Right. So I, yeah. So if I just, I think if I stagger, do a couple trays, of course I'm doing like 450 varieties, but <laughs> 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 I have lots of trays to start, but like, you know, yeah, staggering, I think is good because I even started two trays. I think it was like the second week of June and I still got tomatoes off those. Yeah. Plants. I mean, the, the Me plants too. didn't do as great. Like some of them didn't. I remember one, I was just completely amazed. There was Blue Bunny and there was another one. What was that green one? Del Nerpio Verde. Oh yeah, right. That thing went bonkers. And I didn't plant that till <laughs> the middle of July. Like yeah. in the heat of July, I planted it. And then at the end of August, beginning of September, it just had these massive green tomatoes on it. And I was just like, I planted, I, I started these seeds in June. Like, yeah, I know. It's crazy. Oh that's, that's why I'm yeah. like, why am I starting the beginning of March for all of these? Uh -huh. um, last Excited. year, I remember, what's that? Excited. Excited. That's the thing. That's it's right. exciting. Like we're sick of winter. Uh -huh. We dream about that juicy, warm tomato from the garden. I know we all do. Um, but last year, I remember I heard a podcast with Fred Hempel, the late Fred Hempel. Um and I fell in love with him and his philosophy. I got my hands on some Benevento, which is his flagship tomato. And I didn't start those seeds until June, like you said. And I had um, a great late harvest. And ironically, I think I shared this in the group the other day, that the day we found out he passed away, it was I know he passed away on Halloween. I think it was like November 3rd. It was announced publicly. I had my very last tomato that was on my counter and that was a Benevento. Mm -hmm. um, I remember you saying that. Yeah. He's, I mean, they're no, his varieties or that variety is known for long shelf life anyway, but so there's any, anyway, no reason for me to start everything in March. So we're, I'm yeah. going to stagger and that yeah. I will stick to. Mm -hmm. Will Same. I start a couple things early? Probably I will. Yeah. Um, like tomorrow. Let's get to some <laughs> comments before. Somebody, oh, thank you, Michael. I forgot we have a producer here. What zones are you both in? I think we might be in the same zone, actually. I'm 6B. What? what I'm you, sorry. What zone? Are, they want to know what oh, zones are we oh, both in? Oh, I'm like, it's like 6B, 7A, somewhere around there. Yeah. I'm in um, rural New Jersey, like almost on the Pennsylvania border. And I'm on like, I'm northeastern West Virginia, like on the Maryland border. Yeah. Like it takes me 10 minutes. I'm in Maryland. That's where I work. That's where I shop. I just live here. That's it. And garden. Really? <laughs> so you're that close to Maryland? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. I did not it's know that. It's closer to go there than it is to go. There's um, shopping like a Walmart in Kaiser, but that's like 35 minutes away. What's a Kaiser? It's 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 a town, Kaiser. West oh, oh, in Kaiser. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. I just assume um, you know everything I'm talking about, Lauren. Come on. Well, we normally do finish, finish each other's <laughs> yeah, sentences, yeah. but we um, are um, we are giving away a couple things, seed prizes tonight. One is very mm -hmm. special, oh. so you're going to want to enter, right, Jen? We've got something. Yes. Really oh, this one excites yeah. me so much. It's seeds, I, but I'm it's definitely special. growing it, and I'm pretty sure you're definitely growing. Oh, it's number it. one I, on mine. I think there might even be two, maybe three plants that make it into the garden of this one because yeah. I'm just so excited for it and i want to save seeds like gangbusters because i know yep. everybody's gonna be knocking down my door to get to them yep <laughs> me too it, it's on my it's my number one most anticipated well <sighs> it's yeah it's in the top three definitely for now three, for now <laughs> <laughs> that one i don't think will change anyway <laughs> in the comments just type hashtag tomato anytime during our broadcast and we will do a drawing um for that, did you have something also? Yeah, I yeah. I, I usually pre-package everything so I can show you it's already ready to go. But I'm a slacker today. I was busy busy with my dirt, and uh, so I will do three giveaways. But it'll be a surprise. I hope you guys are excited with 
surprises. Five I, varieties of really cool stuff. And I plan on giving away. I also don't have them packaged up. Mm -hmm. um, but a couple of the, the varieties we're going to talk about tonight. We do have images, graphics of some of our most wanted, but it's like, it's just impossible. So, or not most wanted, most anticipated. So we're going to show you some of those tonight. Um, before we go on, I wanted to talk to you, a couple things we wanted to talk to you guys about. Um, first, today in Tomato Lovers Collective and Swap, we put up a poll. So we are going to do something called grow outs, which we kind of debated whether or not to do them because we've received some feedback, haven't we, Jen, about they can what works. a disaster. <laughs> you want to describe what a grow out is? You you have more experience. So, I don't know if I'm good at describing, but I'll give it a go. Um, so let's just say there's 10 people that say they're going to grow a certain variety. Um, and what we're doing is like really cool stuff. Like one of them I think is like very rare. We're going to do Jarsons, Kazulas, Long Keepers, just the, the stuff that we're excited about to grow. But say 10 people say they're going to grow a certain variety. You send in to the host, like say it's me or Lauren, and you send in, um, I guess it's 90 seeds. So it's nine packets of 10 seeds each. And then you get the other nine people that are in that 10 person grow out, you get all the seeds that they grew of their tomato. So you get, it's like a swap, but f f it, in a funner way. I mean, like, you know what I yeah. mean? Like, <laughs> it's well, an an anticipation I... kind of swap. <laughs> Cause you have to wait. Yeah. And the, the feedback the we get from people, especially in, in groups like ours is that they don't really participate in grow outs because they have all the varieties in the grow outs already. Oh. Like they, mm -hmm. maybe they're, you know, a collector like us and and they have a lot of the more standard varieties so jen kina and i have been meeting and talking we had a long meeting yesterday to try to figure out how to make it interesting cost effective um and simple mm -hmm. you know a lot of people yeah. over complicate and we do not want to do that we want to make it fun but we also want to make it so you like what you get and want to participate so other groups that do grow outs, they'll do like a category for reds and they'll do one for green one ripe and bicolor, maybe antho or micros. We're, we're doing it different and we're doing or differently. And um, we came up with a list, a laundry list of what we felt are very unique and interesting categories where mm -hmm. seeds aren't necessarily easy to find. And so I put a poll up in the group today asking all of you who are in the group. And if you're not, please join us. Yes, um, to, to vote on what you would find interesting and what you would be able to participate in. And my my wording was a little unclear, I think. And it turns out with Facebook, if you start a poll and people start voting, you can't go back and edit the post ah. because I wanted to clarify. Let me clarify what I mean by um, that you're able to grow it out. What I mean is you have seeds for it or yeah. you can get seeds for it. It has mm -hmm. nothing to do with your zone and whether or not a certain tomato is right for your zone. It's really like if you want to participate in the Jarson grow out, do you have Jarson seeds? And if not, can you get them before the grow out? That's really what that means. Yeah. Um, so vote as many, vote for as many that interest you and that you would actually be able to participate in. Um, we've come up with some really cool Things. I haven't looked at the voting in, in a couple hours, but last I checked, it was really interesting seeing what people were voting for. So yeah. um, so we will announce like more detailed information on that when we get our categories. We'll, we are going to group a couple categories and then Kina, Jen and myself are each going to take uh, Spearhead 2. So we'll be like your... I think I called it captains in the post. I don't know where that came from, but so whatever. Be captain of that boat. <laughs> we'll be captains <laughs> of those categories. We'll collect, we're going to collect money up front. We estimate it'll be around $6. Like a um, deposit. As a right, it's a deposit for you, but we're not that going to. I just feel like yeah. that, you know, then if people do that, they, they're, you know, they're serious about it. They're right. Gonna do, yeah. yeah. You're vested in it. Mm -hmm. we're, we're not going to make people continually take pictures throughout the process like other groups do. We're, it's simple and it's supposed to be fun. Yeah. Right, Jen? Tomatoes yes. are supposed, supposed to, be to be fun. fun. Yeah, I don't even think we're going to like require like bagging blooms and just, you know, so I mean, and that'll all be if somebody's worried <gasps> about that, 
then oh, what happened? What happened? No, sorry. <laughs> My producer just slays me. So finish what you're going to say, Jen. Oh, and then okay. I'll if someone's worried about that, it's going to be in uh, the like the instructions and stuff. So if you're someone that you really want your your varieties to have the blooms bagged or whatever, we're, we're just not going to require that. So then, right. you, you, yeah. just, you know, just don't enter if that's something yeah, that you right. really feel like you need to require. And that's fine if you do, but it's just for us, it, like it's supposed to be fun and yeah. we're just not going to require all that tedious, I guess you could say, stuff. And right. Because I think it turns people away, mm -hmm. um, makes it seem more complicated than it needs to be. Yeah. Um, my mouth really dropped open because Michael just put up our current um, top four categories. He's just so amazing. Oh, top cool. categories right now are ultra rare. Uh huh. Yeah. Long keepers, Kazulas, and Jarsons. Oh, Interesting. Yeah. All the I, good ones. I also noticed Ella There Farrow. aren't any bad ones in the list, though. So what's that? <laughs> I said there aren't any like ones that are kind of like boring in our no, list. No, they're not. She's from like I'd love to do them all. I was I was <laughs> excited that Ella Firov was getting quite a number of votes. I've I haven't grown any. I think I grew one of his last year. He's from I believe Kat, Kazakhstan, mm. but he's got like Seven Rivers Shore. Yeah, um, all the shore varieties. He's got beautiful stuff, and we've got a couple female breeders. In the list, also Sophia, I forget how to pronounce the last name. Sa, Sa, ooh, I forget. She's on there. And um, uh, Cantati, C A N T A T I, I forget her real name, but she's a female breeder from Poland, also. So exciting. And and Kazula yeah. is a female breeder, too. Yeah. Not yeah. to knock the guys, but it's nice to see the females yeah. getting into the action, too. It's very mm -hmm. cool. Thank you, Michael, for posting that. Yes, thank you. Um, so tell us, you you guys, what your most anticipated varieties are, um, and we'll we'll try to get as many as we can up on the screen. Um, also, before I forget, and I know this comes from Jen, Kina, and myself, we have had so many people and vendors donating to our group, donating seeds, offering sales, special coupon codes just for us. We have never once asked anyone to donate a thing. Um, mm -hmm. We pride ourselves on that. Yet you come, you yes. know who you are. You come, you mm -hmm. offer, you're very generous. Um, we've got some members who wish to remain anonymous and I will, I will, we will honor that. Mm -hmm. um, but thank you. Thank yes, you so thank much. You. Thank we've you. started. We've actually had to start a database, like a, yeah. a bank to, to, <laughs> to see. keep track of. Yeah. What's yeah? It's it's yeah. crazy. I I I get overwhelmed sometimes. Like, like it's a dream. Like, oh my gosh, these it is. They are so generous and giving, and 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 like don't want recognition for it. Like, right. it's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah, it is. It really is, and we've so much so that we've actually had to start at you know we need to have people ask us if they can start a giveaway on a certain day right because <laughs> we decide we don't want to start any giveaways two in one day so we have like a schedule which mm -hmm. is just, so, so nobody misses out you right know, so nobody too misses, many. misses out mm -hmm. yeah so we're very thank you all for your generosity yes. um we're pretty protective too about um not necessarily scammers but but people coming in and saying that they really just want seeds for various, you know, causes that they run. And, and I'm sure they're very worthy, but we're a very generous group and we don't know which ones are legit, which ones are, aren't. So um, we just encourage if you are running a, a, uh, a cause or whatever, just use our, our daily post. You can get seeds easily that way. If you're looking for a lot of seeds, Baker Creek, there's all, all kinds of vendors, like the big vendors, they will donate mm -hmm. seeds no problem. We're not really the place for that. But if you're looking for interesting varieties, just use our, our weekly posts. Um, is it possible to participate if I'm not on Facebook or Instagram? I assume you're meaning the grow out and, and no, I would say then we, that would be very difficult on yeah. us to have that um, happen. We really need for you to be a member of, um, of our group, unfortunately. Yeah. Easy to um, reach through messenger. Yeah, yeah. We're we're really busy. Not only oh hello, is this COVID? This is COVID. Hi, I'm COVID. So 
likes to get up right in my face. Oh, she's going, yeah. <laughs> she ain't going to leave. <laughs> like, this is my house, human. Deb Tessier, too thicker, says, I'm excited to grow Chef Guy Geta. That is supposed to be on, that is on my list. I didn't make the graphic for tonight, but me too. I just yeah, sent her those seeds. That one looks interesting. Um, I'm glad you're excited for that, Deb. That one looks very interesting. I tried to get graphics for all of them and I just, just didn't, but we have, we have graphics for a lot. So anyway, thanks to our, there was something else I was going to say in relation to the donors. Um, for those of you donating a lot of seeds, um, we are, we, I started to say we, we have a database that we're doing and we've, it's sort of a seed bank. So we're keeping track of what we have. We're going to give those who want credit, um, credit. I just received, we received almost a thousand seeds from, oh my goodness, Gay, uh, oh my goodness, what's his name from Australia? Gareth, Gareth Boyd. Oh, Gareth, yeah, Boyd. Uh -huh. Of the Central Australian Bush Tomato that he would like us to distribute to people. So I'm going to be put, putting something out there, maybe self addressed stamped envelope, but it's very interesting, very, um, very thoughtful of him to do that because apparently this tomato is sort of like a raisin, like it, they're very sticky and to get seeds out of it would be like getting seeds out of a raisin. So he wow. sat there and told me, so it's very generous and very cool. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's so cool. thank you, Gareth. I love unique tomatoes like that, that do weird things. Me too. <laughs> like me the too. ones that look like peppers, although they're not always tasty. No. They're just neat. Now I have to say the tulip, like the California tulip I grew, I'm growing a ton of those tulips this year because that one was actually tasty. Like I was blown away. I was like, oh, it actually tastes good. Like I've never. I'm growing one. a couple based on, on your review of that. Like I've got big green festival tulip and big mm -hmm. green tulip. And I think black tulip, like yep. tomato Eden's got all these tulips, which is yep. awesome. Yep. All right. I, I suppose we should get started in talking about some of these varieties, but before I forget, yeah. I'm sure Michael's holding down the fort, but um, if you want to be eligible for our prizes and have your name show up on our end, because we're a private Facebook group, if you're watching from in the group, you need to grant StreamYard permission. That's the platform we use. So um, I think Michael's providing a link knowing Michael, but um, <laughs> you need to go to StreamYard.com backslash Facebook. You're going to see a screen like this. Just press that blue button. Uh, otherwise, you're going to come up as Facebook user on our end and our giveaway tool won't pick you up. Um, all right. So let's get, I think the first slide's yours, Jen. These are in no particular order, by the way. And I am missing several. So let's let's see what yours is. Up, oh, here's yours. Who's this? Martian monster. I'm doing like all the Martians because I grew two last year. I grew Martian feet. Yeah, Martian feet and then Martian Angel. You grew those I, last year? Yeah, I grew those okay. two last year. And now I've got, I think there's 11 total. So I'm growing yeah. nine more. So awesome. I don't think I send you all the pictures of them. I sent you a few, but they're yeah. all super cool. These are um, from Cleaverhof Seeds. And where is that, Germany? Is it Denmark? I think I think it's Germany. Germany? You know, okay. Germany? That, that probably makes uh, more sense. Might be. Yeah, but... Um, I know the website is cleverhof.de. Maybe I just assumed that was Denmark, but... I don't know. You might be but right. You're, no, you're probably right. It's Germany. <laughs> Sounds like a German name. Yeah. So that, all of them. <laughs> I grew, I only grew one last year. I grew March, Martian Zauber, which ah. is fairy tale magic. Mm. And it was very good. Very mm -hmm. pretty. Um, yeah. These can be found at, uh, I mentioned the name Cle Cleverhoff. Maybe I can put it in the comments. I think it's Cleaver, well, they can be found many places, but I think it's cleaverhoff.de. Could I'm just put in the chat. I could be wrong about that, but something along those lines. That looks right. I think that's right. Yeah. But yeah, um, there's also a couple Short of new trip. ones that Cleaverhoff just came out with, and they're also going in. There were El Tornado and then E Glut. Or yes. Glut. Yeah. They're and throwing those two. So I'm gonna have a Cleaverhoff bed. We um <laughs> we actually made that one of our possible categories for the grow out didn't we oh yeah yeah we did mm -hmm. um i can actually show their website 
because there's Wait. there's 13 right there to choose from. <laughs> yeah, here's their website. So it's cleverhoff.de and they are very talented uh -huh. breeders. Um, and at least on my computer, it does automatically uh, refresh. I don't think, oh, you're right, Jen, German. Oh, you're right. Ah! Um, 10 points for me. I don't think <laughs> for me in the U.S., I don't think I can directly order from them. Um, have you tried ordering directly from them? No, I've gotten everything basically from Kina. <laughs> I think every single, the, the e-glut and the, the e-tornado, pretty much all the other marsh, they, they were all trades with Kina. Or I gifts. got the eaglet and e tornado from Keen. I got mm -hmm. the rest of them. I got Tomato Eden has them all. TomatoEden.net, not .com. So um, yeah, check out that that website. It's a good one. Oh, Tomato Eden. Cheryl wants to know: Have you seen their YouTube videos on the Martian series? Um, are you talking about the ones like in each listing for each variety? They have a video. Is that what you're talking about, Cheryl? Let's see if we can pull one up. They're they are beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, Let's see. That's Martian Angel, I think. Is that how you say it? Angel? It's Martian. It's a fairy fairy oh, no. angel or fairy tale angel, it's yeah. Angel, yeah. Let's see if we can pull up a video. I think on my I think on my YouTube video where I review them, I spelled it wrong like every time. <laughs> Leave you? it to me. <laughs> Misinformation right Yeah, but here. that's why we love you. Can that's you my this? nickname. Can't pronounce can it and I can't it? spell it either. This is probably what Cheryl's talking about. So each of the varieties on the Cleaver Hoff. Who doesn't like a good right. scene video? They showcase it in a video. Mm. Gotta love it. <laughs> oh, tomato porn right there. It is. No kidding. Yeah, no, All right. I want to see her taste it too. <laughs> Let's, yeah, me too. All right. Here's this one. There's been two I've been searching for, for what feels like forever. This is one of them. Krimsky Malahit. Yeah, I'm growing that one too. Um, <laughs> I think I gave you seeds for this, right? You did. did. No. I ordered yeah. I ordered like a million packages from Tomato Faifu. They were the only place I knew that carried them. And since they were um, not, you know, they weren't in business for a long time because the owner is ill. Um, I couldn't, I searched, I searched, I searched, couldn't find them anywhere. I didn't think they were ever going to reopen. And then when they announced they were, I was like, get in. I, I was like, I was actually provided a, a nice um, perk that I was able to test order for them. So I, I was able to order this early, but I know a lot of our members got it. The reason why it's exciting to me is it's a cross between my number one, which is Malachite Box, or Malachita mm -hmm. via Tulka, which apparently, according to Alex from Lucky Garden, I say wrong. So don't be impressed. Um, it's a cross I'm of so Malachite Bosch and Black <laughs> Crim, <laughs> yeah. which is another one of my favorites. So what's there not to like? It is beautiful. Uh -huh. Yeah. I was so yeah. excited. I actually got the seeds from who you call Malachite Jen. <laughs> oh, Malachite Jen. Yes. Yeah, she gave I... them to me so sweet. And when I saw them, when oh. I opened the package, I like was like, oh. I knew that. I forgot about that because she she and I were talking. She wanted to know what you didn't have. So I helped her with that. I totally forgot. Oh, thank yeah. you. Yeah, I was so excited. I was so pumped. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, Malachite Jen, you know, Malachite's our thing. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> the funny thing is before Tomato Faifu reopened, the listing for Krimsky Malahit looked different. The tomato looked much darker, hmm. but they grew it out last year. So I guess this is the latest... Um, it's from a Russian breeder is all I know, a Ru Russian gardener. So I guess we'll see. It's probably not all that stable yet, but I do not care. Yeah. And um, care. even care. with my Jarsons, <laughs> my beloved Jarsons, that if I know the cross, I don't care what it looks like, you know, bring it on. Yeah. So, as long as they're tasty and beautiful. <laughs> very excited for that one. Exactly. Um, Cynthia Floyd wants to know, they are like raisins. Are they long keepers? They're not. Um, the I assume you're talking about the Australian bush tomato. No, they're they're small. If you if you Google it, Google Australian bush tomato. Maybe I can bring it up right now. Actually, 
Um, although, do we have time? We probably don't have time. But Google it. The plant looks very different from a tomato plant. The fruits kind of look like a raisin. They're well, I shouldn't say they're not long keepers. How what their shelf life is, I honestly have no idea. Maybe Gareth can answer that for us. Um, I don't know. That's a good question, though. All right, let's see what's up next on Jen's list. Banana legs. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's because of the name. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really have high hopes for flavor. I grew banana toes last year. And what was the nut? Uh, Dancing green fingers. Yeah, yeah. Neither. I mean, they didn't wow me, but they're cool and they have fun names. And I would, you know, I like to save. Once I grow it out, I save a lot of seeds. So then I have a lot of seeds. Because when you do a trade, sometimes you only get five seeds. So yeah. I got to have more than that. Like, <laughs> I know. And this one, I, I was just like, it's cool, a cool shape, fun name. I'll, I'll toss it in there, even though, I don't know, it might taste good. I could just be making that up. Who knows? Yeah. The names are part of the fun a lot mm -hmm, of the time. Mm -hmm. um, Olivia DeBond says, I'm growing Krimsky this year too. Good, good. Yes. Excited for that. I mean, how can you go wrong with Malachite Box and Black Krim? I don't know. You Is really another can't... name? I'm sorry. <clears throat> no, go. Another go name for Malachite Box, Malachite Casket? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. The, in the translations... I only know this because I'm like psychotic when it comes to Malachite box and I, I use all the different translations, but yes, it is the same Malachite box, Malachite casket. Yeah. Cause um, I got those in a trade and I'm sitting and then when I looked them up, it came up as Malachite box, Malachite casket. And I was like, Oh, it's the same one. What a, yeah. weird, what a weird name. Yeah, I know. That's going to go in my Halloween grow. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is green. <laughs> All right. I don't even remember what, uh, this was oh. the other one. Do you remember last year, Jen, I put out like a alert. I'm looking for two varieties. It was Crimson yes. Malahite, Malahite and this one. This one. Oh, you found it. Nice. Yeah. You looked for that for like forever. I, for, I just, forever. I just didn't and think it was out there. I was like, oh man, she ain't ever going to find that. <laughs> I am hopelessly devoted to Jarson varieties I am an avid grower. Last year, I only grew one, Jarson 1, the tricolor version. Now there's a couple different versions out there. The tricolor version with the pointed tip and Jarson 18.3. There's a lot of variations. Um, the numbers go up to 35. I was gifted with a Jarson angel, I call her, from Poland, who found me on Billy Yoder's page, actually. And she saw that I was proclaiming my love for Jarson's. She has every Jarson except for three, and she gave them all to me. So you have so, 22. Do I have 22? Uh-huh. So I have 22. Okay. Why? Are you looking for 22? Yes. <laughs> I have only everything one? around that. I have like 20, 21, 23, 24, and I'm like, oh, I want that 22. <laughs> The only ones that seem to be lost for, I mean, if she can't find them, I think they just don't exist. Um, or they existed maybe at one point, but Jarson himself apparently doesn't, um, he wasn't necessarily ready for these to be released from is my understanding through the grapevine. He gave seeds to people and they kind of save seeds. So that's why there's a lot of versions and variations. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I don't care, okay. but she, um, <laughs> she does not, we do, we now, we do not have Jarson six, uh, 32 and 33. Mm. And so, and please don't, I don't have enough seeds to um, spread, unfortunately, except if you want Jarson 1 and 18.3 that I can give. I don't have extras of these others. This person was incredibly generous and also requested that I not use her name for obvious reasons. But thank you, Jarson Angel. I know you don't speak English, so you probably can't understand this anyway. Yes. Thank but, you, Jarson uh, Angel, because yes. next year we're all going to benefit from this. So I, I have like six different <laughs> versions of Jarson 16. So this is this is very cool. Jarson 16 F5. There's a green version, orange version. Like I'm I'm beyond excited. Yeah, so. they're so pretty. The ones that you have on the screen, right? That yeah. Right there. Oh, they look. Yeah. Oh, I want tomatoes. Homegrown tomatoes. This again. is why narrowing down my list is impossible because I could just mm -hmm. take the envelope she sent and say sent and say done. But there's others I want to grow. Oh, so, yeah. Um, yeah, this one's exciting to me. Again, the malachite box 
thing. It's that and Cherokee purple. So I've got one paired with black creme and one paired with Cherokee purple, like uh. be still my heart. Uh -huh. It's exciting. So glad to have found both of those. All right. Next on your list is one of Jim Wyant's varieties. Yes. Wagner. <laughs> I'm excited about that. Look at the inside of that. It's gorgeous. It, it, and, it, and he always grows or yeah, sells like these big, luscious tomatoes. Like if you look on his Facebook page, that's pretty much all he's got is just yeah. these. And they're like from like the App Appalachian area. Like he, so there's quite a few on there from where I'm at, West Virginia, which is super cool. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and that's Kentucky just one too, of them. I think, right? Kentucky, a lot of Kentucky heirlooms A lot too. of Kentucky, yeah. yep. Mm -hmm. um yeah if you're in tomato lovers collective and swap his name is jim wyant w-y-a-n-t mm -hmm. he does not have a website but if you private message him he will send you his list um his prices are very reasonable he's got some great varieties mm -hmm. and he ships out like immediately i've ordered a few times yep. from him oh hi heidi glad you're here love jim's large heirlooms um yeah, he's got some great things. Yeah. This is a, I think I ordered, I know I ordered this one from him too. Now yeah. you're making me think that needs to go on the Sears Grow list. It's gorgeous. I'm kind of bummed because I had like a list of like 12 more that I was going to purchase directly from him at the swap last weekend. And I didn't. Oh. We were going to meet up at the swap. I know. Me, you, and Ken Fry. Yeah, and the, no, the three of us could make it. I, and, there, and, I've, and I heard there was a bunch of people from TLC there. And I'm just, I'm bummed. I but. know, I know. Kim, Kim Lund made a nice post saying that a lot of TLC members stopped yeah. by, which made me really happy. Um, you and I had planned on meeting there months ago, and then I thought I was going to stay with my parents in February, so it got oh uh, yeah, you had to crazy, but parents. but yeah, this time Spend was time perfect. I missed it. Um, and your hubby was sick and, and Ken yeah. lost his doggy. Very oh, sad. So um, so we didn't make it. But no. anyway, so Jim Wyant, highly recommend his tomatoes. He's a great vendor. And that that's a beautiful one. Wagoner, W-A-G-O-N-E-R. Um, all right, let's see what's next on mine. I'm wondering if I want to like look peak first. <laughs> if it's the, there's a holy grail coming up. It's not yet. All right, here's another surprise, surprise, Jarson 5. That is a Lauren-looking tomato right there. Yeah, pretty much anything that looks like this is a Lauren tomato. <laughs> this yep. one's across, this, the reason, one of the reasons why I love Jarson so much, his crosses are outstanding. What he uses to cross are just outstanding. Um, yeah, they're already awesome tomatoes. They are. By themselves, and then he crosses them. Yeah. This is Cherokee purple and Anana Noir. Mm, 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 mm. I mean, again, you can't go wrong. I think I only have, now I sound like a brat. I think I only have one version of the Jarson 5 rather than like different variations. I, and this one came from tomatoeden.net. Um, and I think she still has them in stock, but super excited for this one. I'm going to bore you guys all with my Jarsons. By the way, if you want more info on all the Jarsons and all the... Um, crosses i created a document in that is in our group guides that um it, it's a list of all the crosses and, and various links where you can take a look at them because yeah. a lot of times like with kazulas and jarsons and um the the uh cantati and, and kas the cause they're numbered so it's like what's the difference one or the other you can tell so in our group guides you will see this this um along with other breeder resource sheets. Jen's just done a Brad Gates one. Kina today did a Keith Muller one. Um, Lots of rabbit got... holes for you to fall into. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> and we've got a lot in the works. I've been working on Tom Wagner for a while, um, doing a, a cause one right now. We've got Bill Yoder up there, Fred Hempel. So all, all kinds of breeders up there. Our guide section is turning into a really uh, helpful resource. So make sure you check that out. All right, Jarson 5. It's um, awesome. Cynthia says, I should look at the group guide regarding the tomatoes. I am new. Welcome. We're so yes, happy to I have know, you, Cynthia. Cynthia. Welcome to Tomato Enablers Anonymous. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Your garden will never be the same again. Yeah. But you will grow some pretty darn good tomatoes, and you'll find some really generous people. Yeah, you'll be obsessed with 
tracking down all of them. Oh, Evil Olive. Yeah, I'm it's excited yours. about that. I've heard lots and lots of good things about really? it. And it's purdy. <laughs> is this a Brad Gates variety? I believe it is. I'm not positive, but I, I'm pretty sure it is. I know I, I did the I did the list for him. I don't know how I don't know. <laughs> well, he's got a lot. He yeah, a he lot. did have quite a lot. And, and there were some that when I, I found out that, you know, they were his, I was just like, what? I didn't know it. Like, yeah, he had a few on there that were kind of blew my mind a little bit. But yeah, Evil Olive, I keep hearing lovely things about it. And I can't wait to grow it. Yeah, I'm on the it's Baker poor. Creek website now. It doesn't say who bred it. I like when the inside of a tomato looks different than Me too. the outside skin. When you slice into it and it, you're just mind blown. You're like, what? I didn't know this was on the inside and it's gorgeous. Yeah. <laughs> I like that too. There's a couple of mm -hmm. long keepers that have that. There's one called yellow out red in or red in yellow out, something like that. Oh, neat. Um, I wonder if I've got that one. I have my Meraki order and I haven't done the video for it yet. Yeah. You've got mine too. I have I haven't even dived into it yet. I mean, I've looked, but I haven't I took really. That, I, I took a quick look at it, but I'm like, there's a bunch of, and I got all my long keepers together. So I need to, yeah. For those of you interested in getting seeds for Evil Olive, Baker Creek does carry them. Um, I know a bunch of people do also. If you're interested in, interested in learning out more about long keepers, that's another thing you can find in our guides. I've been compiling a resource sheet of all the long keepers that I'm aware of. New ones pop up all the time. And um, on my YouTube channel, I did an interview with um, Evan Gregoire of uh, Heirloom Seed House last month. He's an expert on long keepers, uh, mm -hmm. actually just a couple of weeks ago. So he was very informative during that, if you want to check that out. Yeah. All right. The next one might be, all right. What is it? What is the it? The Holy Grail. Are we oh, ready for this? Yeah, let's do it, Lauren. I feel like it needs like a drum roll and a build Yeah, it really up. does. I'm like, I held my breath. <laughs> I don't know if she wanted to be anonymous or not. She's been so generous and so good to me. I'm going to, to mm -hmm. share her name. So um, actually, I better not. I was going to say, well, if you don't know, maybe you shouldn't. Maybe I shouldn't. But we want to. Because I, I don't want, want people asking her. Yeah, um, we want you to be recognized, but we won't yeah, that respect. Yeah. So last year, this member, uh, she is in France, and she told me she could get all these Jarsons for me when I was still looking for all, the, all of them. And I, like, incredibly generous. She had ordered them. They got caught in customs. She And she didn't owe me a thing. I hadn't sent her anything. She was just trying to be nice. And so as like a consolation, she sent me this huge envelope of all these incredible varieties, including this one that she said is regional to where she is in France. And when I took a look at it, I realized how special it was. Um, it is called- So special, so special. Oh. La Bourgienne <laughs> or the Virgin. Look at that. It's from oh. France. It is not sold anywhere by the breeder's wishes. The breeder is named Michelle Herant, and um, he no longer trades. And he requests that um, that never this be never sold. be for sale. He also doesn't trade any longer. So, I mean, this is a Lauren tomato if I ever saw one. Mm -hmm. This sure is a cross is. he did years ago of black crim and evergreen. And I'm excited for it. <laughs> it's really just insanely beautiful and rare and I'm excited for it. So she sent me some seeds and then I wanted to buy more because I wanted to give them away as gifts in the group. We wanted to give them away, not me. We wanted to give them away as gifts in the group. I approached her. She had a friend who grew it last year and she sent um, several more packages for us to give away. So we have, we have already given some away to uh, people who have been extraordinarily generous to our group who wish to remain anonymous. But I have one more, one more gift package left. Who's we have, be the not me. Of the Holy Grail. So one of you is going to win five seeds of La Bourgienne oh, I can't tonight. wait. Um, so make sure you type in hashtag tomato if you would like to win. I include this little, um, info sheet along with it. I've, I've, um, uh, 
translated Michelle Horant's words. Um, it says, he requests that these seeds never be sold, so please respect his wishes. And then Jen, Keena, and myself, we request that um, if you are to grow this out, when you give out seeds, please just, we can do our part to make sure they're never sold and respect the wishes of the breeder. Once Keep it's out of our hands. Going. What's that? Keep that message going. Yeah. They're yeah. not to be sold, so. Yeah. Um, so somebody uh, becoming a green stalker. It's a pretty incredible story. I agree. And I wanted to buy these extra seeds from her. She would not allow me. So you know who you are. We thank you. Yes, I thank, thank you. This you. is a really beautiful and special variety. It is number one at the top of my most excited. Yes, list. yes. Mine too. Yeah. Mine too. I, yeah. Like I said, this one's probably going to get three plants in my yeah, garden. I, I don't <laughs> know how I'm going to do just one. Olivia's is super gorgeous. Um, Jennifer Lavorgian, what a beautiful story and gorgeous tomato. I agree. I agree. You, if you Google it, you will find like a PDF file from the breeder from Michelle Harant. It is in French, but if you translate it, it basically says what I said, that it's a cross between black crim and evergreen. And um, yeah, he just wishes for them not to be sold. So so yeah, make sure you type in hashtag tomato and you can be the lucky winner of our last giveaway. All right, what's next? This is yours. Ah, oh, Fuego Rosa. I grew Fuego Verde last night, last year, last night, last year. And it was very, very pretty and it was tasty. And, and so that's Fred Hempel's. Mm -hmm. And then when I saw that I had, I can't remember when I traded for this. I feel like it was recently, but I was just like, oh, gotta, gotta grow this one. So Fuego is, Rosa. Is, is Fuego Rosa his also? I should I know this because I did his breeder shoot. I think so. But I'm not positive. I think you're right. I'm pretty. I, I'm pretty sure it is. He's I another one you can find as breeder resource sushi. sheet. Yep, it is Fuego Rosa and yeah. Fuego Verde. Mm -hmm. A lot of his are F1 hybrids. These are not. This is not. Um, so I think I've got just about all of Fred Hempel's. I've been collecting. <laughs> I think I've got just about all of his now, which I'm excited about. Nice. I can grow them all, but I'm nice. going to grow some of his um, this year uh, and I, I'm excited. I think I might do Fuego Verde and then Ray Array is, is one. Um, oh, is it? Okay. Were, yeah, that's, yeah. That that one's getting grown. That's yep. sitting in front of me some, somewhere here. <clears throat> oh, Heidi said, yes, it is from Fred. Thanks, Heidi. Thank you. Jerry said, the Vorgian is such a beautiful tomato. How could anyone not like it? I know that's kind of what I think. Um, Flomaton Famous. Hello, everybody. Hello. Welcome. Welcome to our show. I'm seeing a couple people write in hashtag tomato who aren't signed in. Um, oh, yeah. So it comes up. Let me just show an example. It shows up on our end as this because we're a private group. So make sure you're signed into StreamYard uh, or the, our giveaway tool is not going to pick you up, unfortunately. It has nothing to do with us. It's just thank you, Michael. StreamYard.com backslash Facebook. Michael is just. Oh, he's amazing. We love you, Michael. That yeah. long keeper show I did on my own for my YouTube channel a couple of weeks ago. I didn't ask him to come on. I mean, he's our producer. He's not my producer. He's our producer for Tomato Talk Live. I accidentally unplugged. I was in Florida. I accidentally unplugged my sister's laptop that I was borrowing. I saw and things were starting to go really wrong. I couldn't see comments or anything. All of you a sudden, panic. Oh, oh, Michael. <laughs> he, it was we, amazing. It was amazing. I mean, I put you and Michael on StreamYard. We're now part of a team. I'm not exactly sure what that means, but it seems like Michael does. So he knows how to work. Yeah. It. yeah. I, I... <laughs> Michael, we thank you very, yes. very much. You are amazing. We adore you. Yes. All right. What's next? There's going to be some empty slides here where I forgot, where I didn't get a chance to put in some of Well, mine. there's stuff I want to talk about. Like the next one I want to talk about before you put up my next one. Okay. I got to talk about this one. I, don't, I didn't send you a picture of it. Ooh, this one I was fun. given seeds from Lydia Strafford um, from Carolina's Paradise. She does not have them on her in her Etsy store. She just she's another one so so generous. If you guys haven't already, check out Carolina's Paradise on Etsy. She's got incredible varieties, even some Jarsons on there too. And Jarsons are hard to find in the United States right now. I have a an inkling that after this season they're not going to be. 
but she has several um, varieties, but she, she gifted me these seeds. Um, and they're, you know, e Etoile is, is well known, but Etoile chocolate is not, it's hard to even find information about it. So knowing that I have to grow it, it looks beautiful. Um, so yeah, don't look for it on, on her site yet, but I, I will have seeds. It just, I love the shape of it. I love chocolate in the name. There's something about having chocolate in the name that always draws me into like, if it's got black in the name, except for the antho stuff, I'm not into that. But if it's like black crim or black mamba is one I want to grow this year, black oil, like all the black, oh, black Stutzman. Black zebra. <laughs> I haven't grown black zebra. It's in my list. I think it's in my grow. I've got like a zebra, a zebra baggie. Like I have all my stuff separated into different baggy categories. <laughs> See, you're good. Nah, well, it it keeps changing. I've got like the the um, black Milo. Oh yeah, that one's good. Blue Ridge Black. That's the one I was trying to think of. That one I'm growing this year too. So anything with black that doesn't include antho, I'm in. And chocolate gets me too. So thank you, Lydia, for these seeds. Um, excited. I think that that's a big. Is that a big draw for you too, Jen? I know it is for Kina. If you know they're really rare. Does that make you want to grow it even more so you can grow it, save yeah. seeds and, and yeah, share with everybody? Share. Yeah. Yeah. And share. Cause I want to yeah. like, if it's rare and not a lot of people have it, I want to make sure that that's not the case. <laughs> yeah. You know, cause you know, this is how things get lost. So if it's really rare, I'm right. like, I got to grow it or to save seeds and then I'm going to spread it, spread right. it everywhere. <laughs> right. Yeah. It's not at all like, Hey, I've got these seeds. No, 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 no. You don't. It's more no, like no. I'm growing this. So next year you can. Yeah. What's um, the point in that? <laughs> yeah. I think that's why you, you, nasty. you, me and Kina get along so well. We love to share. Yeah. So we, we like to spread the tomato joy to everyone we everywhere we all do. the time. <laughs> um, oh, about Lydia from Carolina's Paradise. Flomaton Famous says, I've put in several orders with her over the past few weeks. Love her store. Couldn't agree oh, with nice. you more. Yeah. Couldn't agree with you more. Oh, and Michael put her link in. Thank you, Michael. All right. Oh, so what do you want to talk about before your next one? Okay. So I didn't send you a picture for this one because I'm not even sure I have a picture. Uh, and I don't, well, I think there was like a, a billboard at the seed swap where he had a picture up on it. But I, I, if I could zoom in on that, maybe snap shot it, it probably still wouldn't be a, a good picture, but green Milo. That is what, oh, and, and there's five seeds in here because the other five seeds are going to you. <laughs> no way. Yeah. I, was, I was going to ask you for the for if you had extra seeds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're Thank in an you. envelope now. They're going to be sent out to you. But Thank yeah, I'm you. super excited this because Black Milo was like so good last year. It was, I, I really fell in love with it. It's got that, um, I don't know, edamame or not edamame. Umami. Uh, umami. <laughs> edamame is good too though. <laughs> Yeah, that is good. <laughs> I knew what you meant. Not, not the edamame, the, the the umami. Like it tastes like I don't know how to say it without it being disgusting. Like steak. Like, like it's got like a, a savory. It's wild. Ugh. And there's only been a handful of tomatoes that I've tasted that have that. And when you cut it open, it doesn't look special. Like I even think in the taste test, Ben and I commented about how. Um, and I'm, and I'm talking about black, not the green, which I'm growing, but you know, black is very, the black one's very special, but it, it kind of looked like it was, um, an underripe watermelon color. And I was just like, oh, this is going to taste like water. And it didn't, it like slapped me in the face with flavor. I know you did a great like, review video. It was it. amazing. And then I, I think I posted this, but the, um, the guy that sold me the seeds, he sent me the newspaper article at where. Oh, yeah. I mean, for those, is, for everybody that camera. didn't see it, tell them what it this is. This is then. me right, look, over here. Where am I at? This is there me right here trading for the seeds of Black Milo and Green Milo. Yep, there he is. For everybody that didn't see the post, just tell them what the, what that is. That was, that was to promote this year's swap, right? Um, I don't know if it was to promote the swap. It, yeah, it might have been. Okay. Um, yeah, it's the swap that's in, um, it's Kentucky, right? That's where I went. <laughs> where I went. But yeah, I, I went to a seed swap, my first seed swap last year, and he was one of the vendors there. His name is um, Larry Phipps, and he had this really cool, 
like setup too. Like it was almost um like toolbox, like little drawers where he keeps all his seeds. It was so neat. I had yeah. a picture of it. But He's yeah, really there, nice. I did a I did a video in um, on my YouTube channel of me at the swap and trading seeds with him. And my pen died and he gave me his pen to keep. And <laughs> just a really nice guy. Lauren, where'd you go? Lauren, you disappeared on me. Lauren. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I was like, please. I don't know what I did. Now I've got to like pull okay. up all our slides and yeah, stuff. Yeah, that's why I'm so um, excited for Green Milo. Okay. I was. I got so excited. I knocked myself off the air. <laughs> um, that's so awesome. And he is a member. Oops, didn't mean to pull that up. He Larry is a member of our of Tomato Lovers Collective and Swap. Also, his mm -hmm. business is Granddad's Barn Farm. Is that yes, right? Yes, Granddad's Barn Farm. Yep. Um, he's like Jim White in that he does not have a website or anything, but you can private message him and get your hands on. Black Milo. Do you remember the story behind Black Milo? I know there's a story with it and Green Milo. Is it? Is it? I don't know if it's in here. Let me read the paper. And by the way, he pointed out how much the paper cost. Oh, <laughs> I was just like, wow, that's a, a you cheap know paper. I think I have it in my super duper spreadsheet. Let me look. It says Milo Ison, Grandel's father-in-law, developed a black tomato variety between 40 and 50 years ago by cross-pollinating his red rock tomatoes with a green variety. Well, there you go, Lauren. That's ah. right. <laughs> Resulting in a black tomato. He liked the unique fruit and continued to grow it, passing it on to the to Crandall who grows it every year along with the green tomatoes. Both varieties are as tasty as fresh table tomatoes. Oh, they sure are tasty. And it says, Larry liked the tomatoes, saved the seeds, and began selling them from his business, Granddad's Barn Farm. Well, he it is... says, they, and then it said that they become popular and in great de demand. Um, well, I you know why they've become popular? <laughs> Because your YouTube video, like, got them yeah. popular. People have been looking for those and forever. And people can't find them, so that makes it even more elusive. They're yeah. like, where are you? I can't find it on the yep. internet. Like, as if you look it up, you you real, I think it, my uh, YouTube video. That's the up. only thing that comes up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank so. you for the green, Milo. That, You're welcome. Thank you oh, so much. Course. Anything for you, my dear. Well, that's now come to the, you know, the, I should just add that slide into my most desired varieties because oh yeah that's uh that's gonna be a big one all right let me get back to where we were thank you so much jen that's nice that's and congrats awesome. on being a celeb in the paper we already knew oh, you were no, our celebrity that's my back that's my arm back <laughs> <laughs> all right we have this one's yours another martian series oh yeah which one's that martian, martian elf. elf oh yeah isn't that pretty it's green so <laughs> like i'm gonna have a hard time um narrowing down the green ones because i have yep. collected so many green ones you and me both sister it's nuts you and me both because especially green... with sorry go tomato, ahead tomato eden it's, i like, know she, she has categories she has so many categories yeah. and you click on the green category and it's like page after page after page and i like wanted to add them all like i'm like She's awesome. Like there's something She's wrong awesome. with me. <laughs> no, there isn't. I, uh, I, you know me, I'm a green fan too. And I think people mm -hmm. who don't, who are turned off by greens, you really need to taste one. And not all of them. Green zebra is no. not my favorite, but Just like. Just like any other color. It is. Good, good tasting ones. And then there's some really nasty tasting yeah, ones. Some, right. some, some tomatoes can look gorgeous and taste like wet paper towel. Like, right. Even though they're homegrown, they're just, but some yeah. of these green ones, oh. To oh die my. for. Yes. Die for. Dee's Garden Adventures asks, what's the flavor profile of green tomatoes? Are they more sweet or more acidic, or does it vary from green to green? A little bit of both. Yeah, I yeah. agree. Sweet and acidic and just to slap you in the face with flavor. I like the ones that like are like kapow. You yep, put them in your mouth too. and they just hit you all over. <laughs> Yeah. And they're just really, oh, good sandwich tomato, good, just eat it with some salt. Yeah. Just with nothing. Like they're really, really good. They are. Now, I, and I'm like I said, you. not all of them. There's some green ones that probably 
don't taste, but I haven't really tasted that many. Most of the green ones I tasted last year were good. Green zebra, thumbs down for oh, me. Oh, you don't like green zebra. See, I got to grow that one. I, I, and I could just be biased because that was like one of the very first tomatoes I grew in my first garden. First green one. And it was so pretty. And I think I liked it, but I'm like trying to remember. Maybe I liked it because it was just pretty. <laughs> Well, it is pretty. It is pretty. <laughs> I shouldn't say it's bad. It's not a bad tomato. It's just when you compare Very it, there's prolific. so many other greens out there, like Malachite Box, um, Jarson 1, Jarson 18.3, like that one's just kind of like, eh, all right. Mm -hmm. But I, I'm with you. I like, and I think it was Darla, Darla, I probably shouldn't say her last name because it's in a private group, but Darla last year, called it um loud flavor she said i like tomatoes with loud flavor that's good good way to describe it's true. it yeah. I, I like intense flavor nothing mild um, <laughs> nothing mild no if it says mild i really want nothing to do with it uh -huh. like on tomato faifu when i search i always i search i think i was sharing this with you and kina not long ago i search for um exceptional flavor Mm. exceptional and intense are two like keywords yes. i use if it has yeah. exceptional or intense i'm like in the, in, the cart, yep. in the cart in the cart um but i agree i mean all greens are different just like regular tomatoes but they do i think they're a little of both and i also get asked a lot you probably do too that how do you know when it's ripe i find it very obvious if they're soft yeah, it's, touch it just yeah. give it a little squish <laughs> and they change color they're they're if glossy. you bought tomatoes at the store you know well some of those are can be hard as rocks because they're crap True. But like you know like if you've ever grown any tomatoes um you know and and there's some that look unripe and i have missed them like i keep thinking just because i don't know how what color green they're going to ripen to right. because there was one what was it called um it was a jim wyatt it was ohio river huge green and that thing looked unripe and looked unripe. And when it, when there was like six of them that were all ripe on the vine, when I finally went like this, I was like, whoop, oh, that's right. But it looked unripe. It looked like it was still getting bigger, you know, that color. Yeah. And it was completely ripe and completely delicious. Ohio River, huge green. We have <laughs> another good like green one. Here too. Green doctor. Green Doctor's cherry looked so yeah. not ripe. Yes, um, yes. Almost has that like pale, Oh, like whitish, you know what I'm talking about. And not right? real glossy either. Like no, normally yeah. the gloss and the and the finish are kind of obvious. Just give them me. a little little squeeze or a big squeeze, like <laughs> yeah, yeah. And like and you, you mal malachite tell. box, it turns almost like a little yellowish at the end, too. They don't all, but that one does. Um, all right, what's next? Oh, this will be a surprise. It's another Jarson. Oh, this oh is, I've got that one. <clears throat> Jarson 7, <laughs> which is a cross between my beloved Malachi Devaya. Ooh, I misspelled <gasps> Malachi Den. I misspelled Malachi Devaya. I forgot an A in there. Oh, yeah. Bad Lauren. It's a cross of Malachi Devaya, Shkatulka, or we'll Malachi forgive you. and Kazula 25. What? I think we'll forgive you. For All right, good. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, look at this one. I mean, there, I have that, several different versions of this, but that is a beautiful tomato. I think that's in my definite grow list. Oh, who am I kidding? I'm going to probably start seeds for every Kazula and every Jarson I have and just hope that, you know, I have a place for them. I mean, Kazula's, <laughs> that's really ambitious because there I are mean, a couple hundred of those. I have like a whole page here of ones. Where's the camera? Okay. Yeah, no, you're good. Oh, pretty. And then I have a pile of, Jarsons that I like don't you treat your Jarsons like that? <laughs> oh, oh, they're my babies, they're okay. <laughs> yeah, but I took the whole page out of my binder. I was like, oh, I'm just gonna take the whole thing out. <laughs> I um, I just ordered, I've well, so I have these big four inch binders for my tomatoes. I do by alphabetic order, but I have a separate one just for Jarsons. Oh my my <laughs> I just ordered. Um, I just ordered the same thing for Kazulas because there's just oh, too many, too many different versions. Look and at that! Now, I could just like you need to do a video like I did a video. I'm about to do another one where I sit down and I have everybody over my shoulder going through this binder here. The uh, tomato. No, no, no. This one. This has got all my tomato eating, my forgotten heirlooms. That's and cute. It's got fun stickers. 
very fun <laughs> stickers. Um, but yeah, like I need you to do that. Sit down and just take me along with you as you flip through your Jarson binder, please. Look at, look at this. I just need to. So my oh. Jarson 16, right? These are all different versions. 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16. I got goosebumps. Stop. How am I going to not grow them? Well, I have to. Oh, uh, well, you know what? Sometimes I just like you, you start seeds for all of them just because it will help you just to calm your mind and then just hope that maybe some of them don't get all the way. I don't know that that would help my <laughs> mind, sister friend. I don't. I think that would like. You have, me a in old, a home. you have a big old backyard. You can dig a hole somewhere and stick it in. There. Oh, I will. I will. <laughs> and my Jarson Angel, like she she included like when she grew it out as an F4, when she grew it out as an F5 and F6. So, um, yeah. Oh, she's, so excited. Yes, you I have to grow her. them all. You have to. I have to see this. <laughs> I have to grow. There's certain ones I have to grow them all. There was a cute comment I'm so here. I'm so excited for your grow. like tomato tours this summer. I'm like. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. Grow them all. Grow them all. <laughs> Somebody had a cute comment and now I can't find it. Um, somebody called us, somebody called us tomato sisters. You guys are my people with the binders. I don't feel as crazy now. Oh, yeah. I should have uh, got like what I think she showed a video once and she's got like 10. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm not as nuts as her. <laughs> I, I have one of those for also be. for long, long keepers and hanging varieties. And then I, yeah. And I haven't even, I, Oh, yeah. I love the craziness. Oh. I love the crazy. Too. <laughs> I like, I like everything in alphabetical order. I like being able to say, I've got that. And I can give you seeds for that. And, and um, yeah, I'm working on my spreadsheet. I'm trying to make it look like yours. Like I did finally figure out Google sheets. My daughter sat down with me and showed me how to do it. Cause I keep free trading for the same stuff. I know like, it's I, a problem. I more than once. I'm like, you dummy, you have this. So like I'm, I need to get my stuff together so that I stop doing that kind of silliness. This is my spreadsheet. Yeah, it's it's a thing I'm, of beauty. It's got pictures. I've added like I don't know how I'm ever gonna catch up with. Uh, and I'm not gonna. Well, like, adding pictures and descriptions like you have. If you look down, I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom. Everything oh, down I, at the bottom is stuff that I I've, have yet to log. So look how I've many. I've seen that. I've seen that, and I was just like. Where is yeah, it? you're gonna, you're gonna right. be doing See, that. All of these while. are things that I have, but I have not logged yet. Look, at, and uh -huh. these aren't even trades. Yeah, we're, like, we're I have a problem. We're fine. We're fine. <laughs> we are totally fine. Everything's fine. Oh my gosh, you're still scrolling. I'm still scrolling. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, Lauren. It's fine. It is fine. You make me feel fine, and all of you guys out there make yeah, us nice. feel fine. Um, Julie has two boxes worth of two photo boxes worth of seeds. Awesome. Yeah. Um, it, I also need to tell you, I've never done a spreadsheet in my life up until tomatoes. I'm not <laughs> that I'm not the spreadsheet person, but when it comes to tomatoes, I am I self-taught and I like photos. And I like, I like how yours is with the photos too, because I need something like that. Cause and until I have grown it and have looked at it several times all through the summer, a lot of the names, like I can't picture the tomato. Well, because there's like 5,000. So. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very visual. I mean, yeah. I like to know the crosses like with Jarson's, like I said, but I'm very visual. If it looks outstanding, mm -hmm. like the green tricolor thing that you said is a Lauren tomato. If it looks like that, I'm like, yep, it's going. Mm -hmm. All right. We need to get to more, more tomatoes. This is your next one. Oh yeah, that's because of the name. Yeah, of course, <laughs> of course. I, I have a I have a name baggie like with just some weird names in it, like cow's tit, and and then there was some <laughs> name. There was some that a couple of people told me um, I'm gonna grow asshole that you gave me. Yeah, a s s o l. O -L. I, I didn't say a bad word. <laughs> asshole yep <laughs> and um what was another one? Oh, someone just gifted me on my um wish list viagra i've got that and kina just gave me san penis san penis yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> there's what did someone say um one one that looks like smiley worms looks like san penis oh yeah well, smiley worms just came up I have today. smiley worms but i don't think i'm going to grow it for the, i have too many other ones that i'm growing because of the name 
and not because of like the taste or the look or whatever like that you know like bob's boomtown titty uh i hope it's good but i, I don't really know <laughs> here is i just wanted to show asshole uh because it's just funny and seeing it in my binder written just you know the way it looks is that it's just very fun oh i can't do it oh wait here it is tomato galaxy is where i got Basil. oh there it yeah, is i love tomato galaxy oh, yeah that yeah. one oh look at the shape of that it's great yeah Super great. yeah yep, that's definitely no, no qualms that it does not mean in russia what it sounds like here but it's funny <laughs> yeah <laughs> what was another one that um it probably i don't know what it means but it was bitchy mood bitchy mood yeah <laughs> Which, you know, I, I, I don't have, I don't think I have seeds for that. I was on, I think that was on my wish list, but yeah. It's like B Y C H I Y, which sounds like yeah. bitchy to me. Bitchy. I'm sure it means mm -hmm. something. There, there's a bunch of bitchies. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Let's grow all the bitchy ones. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. What's next? Oh, he, here's a little deviation for me. Jarson 10. <laughs> oh, yeah. What? Taking a walk on the wild side. Look at this. And then there's Noir again. Oh, and then Kazula. Oh, yeah. Kazula 37.4. Mm -mm. um, Jarson uses a lot of Kazulas and Malachite Box and Ananas Noir and Cherokee Purple. I mean, you just can't go wrong. So, mm -mm. and then I, how many versions of this do I have? And I look at I the outside compared to the inside. That is like, you know, you have. I've got three versions of this one, a bicolor, yellow, green, red, yellow, orange, I yellow, red, and another one that doesn't say the I color. I love it. You have to grow all three. I have to. <laughs> For the sake of the greater tomato good, I just yes! have to. <laughs> I mean, we all need some of these Jarsons. You have them. It's time for you to spread the love, Lauren. I know. Well, that's, <laughs> that's what I honestly think. Like, I've been talking about Jarsons for almost a year now. I grew those mm -hmm. two last year. And, you know, I, I've gotten people excited about them. And and not only am I excited, but I want to share them because they really yeah. are. Other than Tomato Eden has a wonderful selection of Jarsons. Yeah. Not not all, though. And my Jarson Angel um, in Poland was so, so gracious to give them to me, but I want to be able to share them with everybody. Yeah. So, um, so we for the greater to tomato good, I have to. We got to make Jarsons and Kozolas like boring. Hey, Michael, Michael, <laughs> what is our latest um, voting tabs? Is it still the same? Isn't it kind of, I feel like I'm bossing him around. He's such a good guy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I can't see him. I could bring him up. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Olivia wants to know. Oh, anymore. yeah, that's right. If you didn't catch our last <laughs> I can't see him. Let me see if I did it. No, we're not going to do that. Jen accidentally brought Michael on the air when he wasn't expecting it. He was still in his, like, not Shame his Shame on me. Shame. It, it was a very funny moment. He liked it so much that he made it into a clip and shared it. So, obviously, he wasn't. Yeah, yeah. He's a good it. guy. You're a great guy, Michael. You're great. <laughs> Lauren, you have so many versions of what i forget where that i didn't see where it went you get so many versions of one variety of jars and do you get confused nope well i guess the summer we'll see no i don't i don't i do have to refer to my cross list um for some of them that i'm just getting to know which is in the group to see oh okay jarson fives cherokee purple and anana snore like that i do have to the versions i guess we'll see um I've only grown two so far. What was that other one you just pulled up, Michael? Something about variegated? Did I see variegated? Oh. Variegated pastures. Oh, variegated pastures. Oh, okay. That's what he's saying. What is it? That the variegated ver in our poll and the group, the variegated oh, pastures. Oh, he's answering your question. Okay. Ultra rare Azula variegated long keepers. Okay. Spoiler yeah. alert, Jarson's being in no matter if it wins. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well just vote on it because it's going. No, I'm teasing. I mean, we, we are going to compile things together, but um, yeah. It's got to it, be a winner. It'll come be on. Look at these tomatoes. Look at them. Come on. All right. Let's see what's next on yours. Martian I Granite. Mean, yeah. Yeah. I just threw up all the Martian series. We'll just say Martian series. I, 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 did you talk about Jarson 7 yet? Cause that one. 
I'm not sure. It's on the list. I don't know if I talked about that one yet. Yeah, that's on my must grow list. That thing looks gorgeous. It's like really, really green. Yeah, we did. This was this one. Oh. Which Tomato Eden has a different version, but I've got okay, that one yeah, too. Okay, yeah, I was gonna say mine don't look like that. I like this, yours, these. Came from Luke's to, Lux Tomatoes, L U X oh, Tomatoes, oh. and Latvia. But oh. I also have the one from Tatiana Tomato Eden and several others actually. Bienna Seeds, um, Sabina Bienna Seeds carries Jarson Seven. She's got a nice selection of Jarsons also actually. Bienna B I E N E S Seeds. Um, but yeah, these Lux tomatoes has has a couple, and this one. So as soon as I saw the picture, I'm like, need it, must have mm -hmm. it. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Okay. So you are growing that one, Jen? Oh yeah, I'm growing yeah. all of the ones that I haven't grown yet. They're all in there. So all I right. think I sent you all the well, some of the pictures. I don't think I sent you all the pictures of them. All right, what's next? Oh, this is where I was going to insert another graphic that didn't, but Jen did. All right, blue stick. Oh. Oh, yeah, look at that. See the little pom pom? That's the leaves. Those are the, the leaves of the tomato plant. They're like little poofy pom poms. They're called stick tomatoes. And I did not know about them till this year. And now I want them all. There's yeah. several different colors of the stick. I've got the original stick and then I have the blue stick. So they're both going to get grown. Just because it's just like a long stem and then these puff balls and tomatoes. Like, I've heard they're difficult to grow. Well, we're going to find out. Um, <laughs> I've got a micro dwarf, a micro dwarf that's a stick tomato called moon calf. Really? What? Yeah. Moon calf. Moon calf. M -O -O -N -C -A -L -F. Have you tried to grow it yet? C-A-L-F. No. Um, I don't know if I can find the picture of it, but I heard the seeds are hard to come by because I think it's hard to grow and seeds are not easy to come by. Where did I get yeah. that one? I think that's hard to grow. You can't say seeds. Um, yeah, I'm definitely going to grow that. Well, I yeah. guess I'll, I guess I'll start like five or six seeds. Cause I normally start three or four of every variety just because, you know, there's always going to be some failures and so yeah. maybe I'll start extra of the sticks since they're finicky. I could be wrong, but I think I heard that. Hmm. Um, Cynthia says, I had never heard of these until your video seed swap, Jen. Ooh. Jen's Spread channel. If you guys don't Spread subscribe to Jen's channel, I'm sure you do. But if you don't, um, you can find her at, well, it's at Jen Joy on YouTube. Jen Joy. Where I have it here. Or at Jen Cordial. C O R D I A L. Yeah. And I have a YouTube channel too, Mr. and Mrs. Yeah. Tomato Head. I'm not as prolific with the posts as Jen is, but I saw somebody asked how I start my seeds. I'm going to be doing a video on that coming up. I do have a, a video from last year on up potting my seeds, but I'm going to do a seed starting. And I do a micro dwarf reviews. Do you know before I left for Florida, my son Jake and I, we spent all afternoon filming. Re video reviews for probably about 15 micros. And I thought oh, I was wow. going to put them up while I was away. <laughs> you didn't. This is how many went up. I know. <laughs> They're in the can. I know. I would watch them. But I, I know. Editing I knew they'd hard. be done by the time I got back. Editing is so hard. Like it does suck up a lot of time. And I just wanted to hold space for my parents, you know, be present and, yeah. and all yeah. of that. So. Um, let's see. Oh, look, another blank one that Lawrence was supposed to put in. What I will <laughs> mention, I can mention a couple. So I'm, yeah. I just started a, it's a micro dwarf long keeper. I was telling you guys about this today. It's from Tom Wagner called B times Macbeth. I received seeds from a trade seeds from this are very rare and hard to come by. Um, let me put in the, it's, um, maybe I can put it in the, make a banner. It's uh, so I'm growing this for the, for because it's a um, long keeper and a micro and because seeds are hard to find and I want to offer them and Tom Wagner's great. So I yeah. will insert that where that photo is supposed to go. <laughs> um, also, oh, I do have this up on the screen. This is another one I was waiting a long time to get. I know you and Keena know about this one, Jen. Um, once we got on the long keeper craze in our group, thanks to Kina's mom, Kit, who yep. shared, and now we've, we've all become kind of obsessed with long keepers. Mm -hmm. There's been one variety that I, let me get rid of this, that I really, really, um, wanted cause I heard it's so tasty. Only one place carried it. 
called Great Lakes Staple Seeds. Hmm. And but they close. They were like tomato five food close, close, close. Oh. Only. They don't sell a lot of tomatoes, but they they sell a lot of grains and stuff. They were the only oh. ones that had it. Then they said they were going to open mid January. So I checked while I was in Florida, I checked every day. And then they put out, we're going to open on January 26th. I was online all day on the 26th. <laughs> they said they were having trouble with Shopify or whatever they were using. Mm -hmm. um, so I kind of gave up. I woke up the next morning. They were up. I or you, they only allowed you to order one at a time. So I was going to order one and then place another order. I ordered one. And then by the time I went to place the next order, it was gone. Oh. So they are, I don't know if these things are in high demand or wow. if, maybe they just um, didn't have a lot of inventory of it. Maybe, but it's called Banyal Fubar, Bufar, oh. Banyal Bufar. I like the name. Yeah. It's uh, what does it say about it? It's from a small mountain village on the belly Balearic island of Mallorca, Spain. Um, it's it's a hanging variety. Here's so this is a micro dwarf long keeper. No, I'm sorry. Saying? That was the B Times Macbeth. That oh, was the okay. micro dwarf long keeper. I apologize. Right. I know I, we get talking tomatoes, and I'm like, but this, but this, but this. <laughs> this, this is just a long keeper. Okay, just a long keeper. Okay. Yeah, that was B Times Macbeth. This is called okay. Daniel Bufar. And oh, it's a wish you could make those pictures bigger. <laughs> yeah, I know. I don't think I can. That thing, um, like that top this. picture, is it hanging, that's... right? It's a bunch of them hanging. Yeah. Isn't so that's that what amazing? They look like. I want in my kitchen that that happening right above my island. And that's what Kina's mom winter. did, right? Yeah. Yeah. Kina's next winter. That. They're just going to be hanging from the ceiling. And when we do our tomato talk, they'll just be the tomatoes in the background. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, it's November. It's December. Those are tomatoes. And this, <laughs> this says this trio of wrinkled tomatoes were harvested early October and photographed on December 14th. Oh. Har harvested red. They were kept in a single layer in a cardboard box. Think big box store fruit box in a cool location. Hmm. I'm excited. I yes. I still can't believe like this was at six o'clock in the morning central time. <laughs> I ordered this. Go to place the next order, and it wouldn't oh, let me. It said unavailable. And then I'm like, well, maybe they're just really keeping track of people. But no, it's really just. I think I got the last pack. I don't know, but I'm great, very well, grateful. And I have to grow this out specifically for that too, just so I can share seeds with everybody. Yes. All right, let's see what you've got next. What do I have next? That's another Martian. Yep. Martian, what is that? Fruit? Yeah. Martian fruit. Yep. That's beautiful. That's, that's one that's actually a decent size, if I yeah. remember correctly. It's, you know, kind of like a, a little bit bigger than a saladette, wouldn't you say? I would say so. It looks it. Mm -hmm. Which which most of the Martian series is, uh, I think all the other ones are pretty much cherries, right? Cherry yeah, they're size. kind of like that bullet cherry size, aren't mm -hmm. they? I think. Yeah, they're they're smaller, but this is one that's like a decent, you know, you could use for a tomato sandwich. Yeah. I mean, not that you can't use cherries because I'll use whatever for a sandwich, but <laughs> <laughs> was it Bill Yoder that just put up a picture that might have been on his Facebook page where he had a bunch of his cherries? Uh, like the 1999 little red Corvette and they were all sliced up and he had them all on a, a piece of uh, bread. Yes, he like, did. Oh, that it was, was like, like a torture. Good sandwich there. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> um, funny you should bring him up. I wonder if I can share this because I meant to get this in my slides. I am growing pretty much every Bill Yoder variety this year. I And I was itching. I've got three. I didn't order from him in time to get the Depeche Mode ones. Mm -hmm. Um, but a very generous member who I won't say your name because I don't want people hounding you either, but you're watching tonight. You know who you are and thank you. She's sending me seeds. So there's oh, one I really nice. wanted that's called shake the disease, which looks yes. spectacular. Oh, so she, it was on my most wanted list mm -hmm. and she said, you still looking for that? So she got in, in time. Yeah, I just um, made a trade and I got three of the, I think, 1999 Little Red Corvette. And what's the other one that, oh, I can't remember. There's the Raspberry one. Beret. But the one I wanted to show, yeah. I'm trying to pull it up now, is Purple Rain. Um, let's see, maybe I can do this. I like his names, too. Me, too. They're great. Mm -hmm. um, hang on one sec. I want to pull this up because there's a good, I know we're gonna, running out of time. but I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> um 
see, can I put this in downloads? Maybe I can open it up like Let me this. see if I can read some of the comments here. Yeah, good idea. Oh, thank you, Cynthia. She said, I subscribe to you both. I saw Jen first, then was binging. And saw you, Lauren, and joined the group on Facebook. Thanks. Oh, thanks. Yay to all my of that. channel's small but mighty. Um, all right, maybe I can pull this up now. D's Garden Adventure said, I didn't know there were long keepers until I saw a post on Facebook. I know. And then once you see how like and hear about how long they last, it's just like, what? You, you can't, can't unsee it. Mm -mm. You yeah. must have them. Then you're just like, oh, I need to know about these. And then like rats you're you're uh you're live what was his name i'm sorry oh like, evan I, gregoire evan, evan yeah. yeah he did a taste test and how old were those tomatoes they were a few months old wasn't they, they were a few, months, few old. months old and he and taste they, tested because i was like curious i was like i gotta see you put that in your mouth because <laughs> yeah and yeah it, it was yeah he's like they, yeah it know, was they, just like two weeks ago i think yeah yeah he had a bowl full of tomatoes and that was january yeah and they yeah a whole bunch if if you guys if you go to my youtube channel mr and mrs tomato head um you can watch that video it was really great informative hour and uh you'll see he had a whole bunch of long keepers and he sells them by the way um I right, be, apparently, apparently we can't see us when i show this i got i gotta say this comment i'd be grubbing right. i guess they're talking about um uh, pest pressure. She put here in South Florida, we get a lot of bug pressure and I'm like a chimpanzee picking off eggs and worms every day. Yeah. I hear <laughs> you. Can you. You know how chimpanzees sit there and pick the, <laughs> the bugs out of each, <laughs> out of each other's hair. <laughs> you, don't, yeah. you don't eat them though, do you? I'd be grabbing. <laughs> yeah, hopefully I mean, not. it's protein. I wouldn't judge. <laughs> you know we eat them and just don't realize it. Oh, yeah. You fall asleep when you... I forget how many they say a year that you eat. It's fine. It's just... Oh, yeah. I don't want to know. Uh-uh. Um, so there's two purple rains, which I didn't realize until a couple months ago when I was talking to Bill Yoder, who will be our guest next month on March 1st. Mm -hmm. um, so purple rain, like R-E-I-G-N, like rain as in the reigning of the kingdom... Mm -hmm. um that i grew last year it's a dwarf it's gr it's a great variety really delicious then there's purple rain like the prince song r-a-i-n purple rain is bill yoder it's it's dwarf purple heartthrob that he has taken and tweaked and stabilized so it's the same variety but better oh so, really because i'm growing dwarf purple heartthrob yeah this year. because kim lund said this tomato said made her cry what she sent me seeds yeah. for that, so I'm definitely growing it. And she said it was one of her favorites. Yeah, so. she said it made her weep. It was that good. Oh, so I had a tomato that makes you weep. I'm 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 all it. in. Yeah. yeah. So this is I meant to put this on this oh, spreadsheet. This is purple totally rain. Pretty. It's a stabilization of dwarf purple heartthrob. Wow. So this is on my must grow list this year, along with his other prints ones, controversy, beautiful ones. Uh, oh, that's it. Beautiful ones. I've got that one, I think. Yeah. Oh, Raspberry yeah. Beret, 1999. Mm -hmm. um, that one. Little Red Corvette. And that one. I think those are the three that I have. And I'm growing them all three that I have. And if I acquire any more, they're going into. <laughs> the name is going to be confusing to people, I think, because a lot of oh, people yeah. know Purple Rain the Dwarf. But, you know, the man's a Prince fan, and now he's a Depeche Mode fan, and we're all... We're all going to benefit because his tomatoes are gorge. His names are awesome. They're so great. All right. You've got a couple more here. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That is. Um, red Stripe Furry Hog. Red, yeah. Red Stripe Furry Hog. And that is. I can't think. I, Brad Gates. That's Brad Gates. Oh, is it? Yeah. It looks like yeah, a pumpkin. Hog. He had this thing with like pigs and hogs when he first started making tomatoes. I watched him in an interview and he said that a lot of his first tomatoes he just named after like hogs and there's like a hog and pig and you know pineapple pig and i grew pineapple pig which it was awesome i love pineapple yeah. pig. um but red striped furry hog uh it's a woolly like the the uh the foliage is woolly like furry and and the tomato is absolutely gorgeous and looks quite tasty so that is the is tomato too. woolly too it looks a little bit yeah yeah i'm not sure i could get around that i'm not sure 
Really? Yeah, I don't know if I could eat a fuzzy tomato. I to rub it on my face. I think I have <laughs> eaten, like micro dwarfs, I think I have, but I don't know. I guess I'd have to see. We had a few this year in Ben and I's taste tests, and we were like rubbing them on each other's face, so then we'd stick our tongue out. <laughs> You can, Ooh, yeah, it is you can exfoliate and yeah. nourish yourself at the same time. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you have peach fuzz on your face, Lauren. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, um, Michael, I'm glad you brought this up, Michael. I was just going to mention that this, our, our good friend, Joe from Grow Big TV, who's had Jen and I both on the show. He had Brad Gates on last night. And Michael oh, yeah. says he was talking about the pig names last night on Grow Big TV. Mm -hmm. If you guys don't subscribe to Joe, you want to. He's the nicest guy and he's got great interviews on. Um, yeah, he, 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 he's a- oh, um, Look, he's right here, as a matter of fact. What? I, I didn't even plan that. They're oh, that's his real thing, Joe Big Joe. TV. <laughs> um, How are you? Yeah. Congrats on having Brad on the show, Joe. Yeah, that was really cool. Oh, he says thank you so much. Um, let's see. I think I'm kind of, I mean, I have so many more I want to share about, but I know we're is that one yours for or time. Mine? Oh, this is yours. Oh, okay. Yeah. So if any of you uh, watch my YouTube channel already, you saw I did a taste test and it had chupa chups, like the original chupa chups in it. And that was one of my most hated tomatoes. Chupa chups? <laughs> I think it tasted terrible. Really? Like, Kina loves those. She likes, she said pink chupa chups was her favorite out of all of them. Okay. So I'm going to grow this one and hope that she said it was a, like a very different tasting than the other, like regular chupa chups. And I thought chupa chups tasted like lighter fluid. So I'm hoping that this is nowhere near. Well, that that's one. very subjective because some people really like yeah, the taste of lighter yeah, fluid. Yeah. That's, for all, <laughs> that's for every tomato. Like when we do taste tests, and people say that I help them. I'm just like, I'm glad that it, you know, I'm helping you. But at the same time, I'm always like, you really should grow things for yourself. Um, but, you know, some people don't have an immense garden that they can grow a lot of stuff. So I would. Oh, I no, I was totally it. teasing you. Nobody likes the taste of lighter fluid. Oh, oh no, I mean, like, <laughs> but like what you're saying is true. Yeah. Some no, people I know. really like tomatoes and then other people don't. It's like it's we true. have different taste buds. And my husband like read up on tomatoes, like different kinds of volatility or something happened in there. <laughs> and so it's just different for everybody. So when I say I don't like a tomato, don't take that as like you should never grow it because yeah. you should grow and save seeds from every tomato you possibly can. So, agreed. Agreed. That's much, and that's much we people. all live in different climates. <laughs> we have different soil. Like the varieties can be similar, but how they turn out may be very oh, different. Oh, yeah. I noticed that. I had some micro dwarfs in my green stock, and I didn't really put any um, compost in the green stock, but I had some grow pots, and I put a bunch of like my homemade compost in the grow pot with the garden soil. And the same micro dwarf tasted so much sweeter and had so much flavor that was in the one that had homemade compost in it as opposed to the one that didn't. Yeah, it was like, I remember doing that taste test that day and all of the ones out of the grow pot, I was just like, oh my gosh, this day is so good. <laughs> and That's then a I good tried, experiment. And then I tried some from the green stock and I was like, oh, these don't taste the same. Interesting. So That's yeah, I think, I think- Do a video things, on that what it pulls from the soil can add flavor to it. And I think that's why they say like growing in the hydroponics, like sometimes you got to add extra stuff to the right. water for right. it to catch that flavor. Yep. So. And if you are curious about microponics or, or microponics, hydroponics, um, microponics, our hydroponic <laughs> expert happens to be our producer, Michael Kelly. Yeah. He was a guest on our show back in what, October, November, I think. Yeah, it's um, been a that, little while, hasn't it? That was it? a great episode, and he's Seems in the like group. Yesterday. So, uh, and he, we also have a hydroponic chat. We have, we have a micro dwarf chat. We have a breeder tomato breeding chat. We have a micro palooza chat because we're doing this group wide thing for anybody wanting to grow micro dwarfs over the winter, and dwarf. I think those are our chats. But anyway, my, Michael's very active. Well, he's, he moderates all of them for us, but he, he's the guy, the man with Michael's the plan amazing. When it comes to hydro. Michael's amazing. He is. <laughs> oh, another Martian. Another I just Martian. all the pictures for the Martians. Look at the shape of that one. That one's fun. That is fun. Martian snack. Looks snapped. like it's got some, I forget. It looks like a little pepper. Me, 
yeah someone told me about the names of the the there's a specific name um or a just a descriptive word for when they have those like hollow oh yeah vesicles or uh, i don't know but, oh. you know yeah i can't remember what it's called but there's like a specific name for when you have a tomato and you slice into it and it's like kind of hollowish where the seed cavity is i think i gave you one i gave you the tutti frutti series right Yes, you gave me all, like, oh, I, I'm thinking it's all of them, because it's just like, it was like tutti frutti, like. Tenor. Yeah, I don't have, <laughs> I don't have all of them. I've got cherry red, I've got. Um, and they're still all hybrids, right? They, they're, they are, they're F1s, mm -hmm. but they're supposed to have a Brick's uh, scale, which tests sweetness. Actually, I got a refractometer for Christmas, by the way. Oh, which yeah, you told me about that. I'm so but, excited. Um, You've got to make a YouTube video of you doing that. Oh, yeah, I will. Yeah. But apparently these tutti fruities are all like. 10 and up, which is really high for sweetness. But there's one of those that I gave you. It's, it's called Tutti Frutti, Tutti Frutti Stuff and Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, that, and it's like, it's like a stuffer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They showed a picture on the website of like having them as little hors d'oeuvres and stuffing them with things. Yeah, yeah. I I had the the, the pepper was California tulip and I filled it with chicken salad That's and took pictures idea. of it. That's yeah, it's on my idea. Instagram. I was like, you know. I actually did it. Like That's I said, I was going to do it. And then I actually did it. <laughs> I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of you too. I don't know how you do what you do. You are so good oh, with your videos and we you. all appreciate you so much and what you give to oh, the tomato community. I'm proud to be your partner. Thank you. My tomato I'm proud sister. You're my partner too. <laughs> yes. Um, so lucky. There's so it. many more things I want to talk about, but yeah, we're I at know, like an gosh, hour 40 minutes. We're at an hour 45 minutes. And uh, we need to give away prizes. Yes, yes. Let's do some fun stuff too. So, I mean, everything we've done is fun so far. So. <laughs> yes. So thank you guys for hanging in there. We. Oh my we, goodness, uh, yeah. Yeah, we uh, have a lot of, lots of viewers, viewers tonight, tonight, which is exciting. It's yeah. most live viewers we've ever had, which is really amazing. Oh, Glad wow. you guys are all excited so, for the season. Make sure you tune in next so month, March, March 1st, Bill Yoder. It's going to be an episode you do not want to mi miss. And we've got some exciting guests in the works for future episodes also. So why don't you, maybe we save this guy for the last one for the grand finale. What do you want to give away? I have no idea. I'm just going to, right. it's going to okay. be a surprise. So how three, three different giveaways. Okay. Five different varieties at 10 seeds at least in each. Of each right, variety. so we'll draw three just, times. I'm just not prepared. Sorry, guys, but it, they'll be fine. Neither <laughs> am I. Hence, where the if you like surprises, <laughs> yeah. So I will give away three also. So we'll do six drawings and then a seventh for the Lavorgian. How about that? Oh yeah! Wow. Um, and then uh, Linda says, "Yay for Bill Yoder!" I agree. Mm -hmm. Um, so let's see. Let's give away some. Oh wow, we've got 57 people entered. That's this is our most popular show so far. I love it. Glad you guys are here with us. Our yeah. group, by the way, Tomato Lovers Collective and Swap, we are growing by leaps and bounds, um, probably because tomato season's coming out. But for yeah. those of you, if you're new to our group, we welcome you wholeheartedly. And yes. we hope you have fun because it's really all about having fun and connecting with others. And mm -hmm. we, we don't allow stuck up, condescending people to be talking in our group. They have no place in TLC. It's about fun. Mm -hmm. It's about all being on the same level and and mm -hmm. uh, enjoying each other's company and, and teaching each other and learning, right? In a, in a kind way. In a very kind way. We are drama. Not in a snotty way. Not in a snotty way. If you way think you're a know-it-all, you're going to have to know it all somewhere else. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're not going to. Yeah, you're not going to last long. Oh, Francis says that's an awesome group. Thanks, Francis. Oh, thank you, Francis. That's great. Happy that you're happy. All right, let's give yes. away some prizes. Let's see, how do I do this here? Put on giveaway tool, share screen. Just a shout out again to our producer, Michael, who makes this go so much more smoothly. We appreciate mm -hmm. you, Michael. Very All much. Right, we see this. All right, first, so we'll give away, we'll give away three of Jen's first, and then we'll give away three of mine, and then La Vorgienne. So here we go. Here's one of Jen's. All right, and here if, we go. If you win, please private message um, mm -hmm. Jen. Yep. Or talk to her on our YouTube channel. First winner. Robin Moulton. Oh, hey, congratulations. Congrats, Robin. All right. 
next winner of Jen's prize package. It's like dead silence. Is we need music. <laughs> Chelsea 227. Congrats, hey, Chelsea. Chelsea, that's a name I don't recognize. No, me neither. You are a newbie. Hello. Congrats. <laughs> yes, congratulations. And last one of Jen's. Is Kristen oh, Ladane. Yeah, congratulations, yeah. Kristen. Woo! I know that name. I know you'll that be, name too. You'll be contacting me. <laughs> All right. And I'm going to do the same as Jen. I'm I will try to make um, some of these varieties that you saw tonight. I'll try to put them in the packages. You may or may not find a jar center two in there too. Oh. So I, I will draw three, please. Um, you can private message me in Facebook. If you're not on Facebook, um, Amanda Pittman. Congrats, well, hello, Amanda. Amanda. All right. Um, if you're not on Facebook, um, I guess comment on my YouTube channel on this video or comment in the comments and I will, I will find you. Okay. Next one. I think everybody's hoping they don't win so they can win, be eligible for La Vorgienne. Not if there's a chance they're getting a Jarson. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Cynthia Floyd. Congratulations, Cynthia. Congrats, Cynthia. And last one. Catherine Young. Yay. Congratulations, Catherine. Congrats, Catherine. All right. And the piece de resistance. La Vorgienne. Who's it going to be? La Vorgienne, this beautiful tomato. Oh. Thank you again Snap. to you, our my our friend from France who donated these so kindly. Yes, thank they you. Are they not are not unappreciated. So they are my precious. Who's gonna be the big <laughs> winner? Yeah, they are. They are the holy grail of tomatoes as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Other than my banana noir, of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course, of course. Eileen Philbin. Congratulations, Eileen. Congrats. Excellent. Woo! Yeah, can, roll them out and share them all over the world. <laughs> share them and enjoy them and yes. we can do our part to make sure they're never sold. Yeah. And I will include it's it not in sold, the But never forgotten. Exactly. So thank you everybody for yes, joining thank us. You know, this was so fun. I love doing these lives with you. Me too. And all of Me you too. watching. It's wonderful. You're the best. Oh, you're the best too. You're the best. <laughs> Um, before we go, I, just want, I know I thanked in the group, but all oh, that yeah, for, for, for Christmas, I gave for Jen, Keen, and I, we all have these. And Belinda Starnes had a friend make this for me. I'm gonna for learn little how baby. to make that thing. I'm gonna learn how to make that little guy. He's on my Pinterest. So I mean. cute. Thank He's you. He's holding a little sign. He says, I love you from my head to my toes, except it's tomatoes. Yeah, <laughs> I have that shirt. Oh, yeah. Um, so we hope to see you guys all in March. Jen, as always, I can just, I love you so much. I love talking with you. You make this, ditto. you make tomatoes fun. Oh, ditto. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. And Michael, thank you again. Yes, Michael. Mm, big smooch. Lauren, you disappeared again. Are you leaving me hanging? You didn't just hang up on me, did you? Come on back. I did it again. <laughs> Where are you going? Where are you going? I don't know. I touched something. I Goodbye, I need Blake. like an in-person producer, Michael. I need somebody to like just put my hands down and say stop. Um, thank yeah, you all. I don't for... touch anything anymore. I sit oh, on my this. hands. Love you, ladies, from my head to my toes. Thank you. Oh, thank you. You guys are so sweet. You are. You, you make hang this in there all with worthwhile. All thank you, everybody. Yeah. We thank love you. you. We'll see you in the group. Make sure you vote in our grow out uh, yes. poll. Thank Lots you, Heidi. Lots of fun, exciting things happening. It's almost spring, y'all. It is. It is. We'll talk to you next month with Bill Yoder. We'll talk about starting seeds. And, you know, last last summer we were doing two episodes a month. We have we need to talk about maybe doing that again when, when it's tomato season. Oh, I'm down. I'm down. Me too. Me too. <laughs> All right. All right, gang. Peace and Bye. love. Get your gratitude on. Enjoy your day. Bye, gang. Bye.